Hi friends. Uh, I wanted to play with some ink and also take a look at my 10, top 10 favorite inks from this year that I own a bottle of. So my only limiter was, I had two limiters. One, I had to own the bottle of it. And two, I felt like it needed to not be a very recent acquisition. I needed to have spent a little bit of time with it. So let's go. Uh, these are not in a ranked order. They are in a loose color order. I am going to be doing some swatching because I like want to play with ink on these beautiful wearing gold cards on some Midori MD cotton paper and on some Tomoe River paper in this, uh, what is it, Nebula Basic uh, notebook. So, without further ado, let's get stuck in. Um, okay, so how many of these were on my mid-year? A couple of these were on my mid-year uh, favorite. Should we review those? Yeah. Yeah, we should, Maria. Good of you to think of it. Oh, just hit a big container of water with my elbow. So here is, as a review, the colors I picked in July 2022. So we have Urushizuku Tsutsuji, Color Verse Opportunity, Birmingham Pins, California Raisin, Pure Pins, Porth Kernel Cove, Jairbon 1670, Emerald of Shavor, Sailor California, Sailor Michigan, Troublemaker Abalone, Sailoring Studio 224, Diamine Mine Earl Grey, and my two honorable mentions were Pannonia Abigail and Jacques Herbon Shogun. Now, I didn't own either of these at the time. Um, I still love these inks, all of them, still love them. But that was then. That was a different Maria. That was a 20, that was a July 2022 Maria. And, and she's gone. She's never coming back. So our first ink is... Hiroshizuku Tsutsuji. <laughs> How can I not? Look at this ink. It's beautiful. So what I'm curious to find out is if my brand new automatic pen, which I'm not sure. Is it supposed to be angled like that? The box was all munched. To see if this will work on these wearing gold cards. Oh, hi. Did you just put a lot of ink in there, Maria? Yeah, you did. But maybe not enough. Wow. I don't know why I'm worried they wouldn't work. Like, am I worried that it'll somehow scrape off this stuff? Perhaps a little. Holy cow. This ink! So... These inks are the ones that I, I looked through my ink swatches, all of these cards, and I kind of thought, like, which of these am I ex so excited to get back into a pen? Like, which of these do I always, when I see it and I write with it, I'm like, yes, you are why I need fountain pens and ink. And these are the winners. Wow, Maria, what are you doing? Do you know how to write? I don't apparently know how to write. Um, maybe it's this pen being all weird. Oh, hello, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, you're gorgeous. Gorgeous, I shouldn't have used that water. Oh gosh, where's my... We made a tactical error. It's cool, we fixed our tactical error. I got my rag here. Now, ah, <laughs> chill. chill out, Maria. Um, wow, that was a big dip. <laughs> ah,
Should I do this like actually on the camera so you can see it? Would that be the right thing to do? Was that the whole point of this video? Come on. <sighs> Maria. Ugh. In this sunlight. I've got to hurry because we're, the sun is going to move and this, this dark shadow from the divider in my window is going to like slowly ruin our sunlight. Ruin it, Maria? Look. I hope y'all know what I mean. Here. Oh my god. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. I love this ink every bit as much. Maybe more. Was when I first got it. This was my first Hiroshizuku. And uh, yes. So we'll we'll power through these because otherwise we're gonna be here all day. And this thing has already moved like two feet. Uh, numbers may be exaggerated for comedic effect. So here's these to start with. Maybe this is what we do. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Now, next up, this I I almost regret giving samples of because you can't get it anymore. So I feel bad including it, but I don't because I love this freaking ink. It's Van Ness Hissy Fit. I need to find another ink that's like this because I love it. <laughs> Look at it. It's so delightfully magenta. Ugh. Ugh, my hair should be that color. Everything should be this color. Now, I'm going to try to use this paintbrush and see if I like that experience better. Although, I got, like, pink in my clean water, so that's good. I should go clear it out. But I can't, I don't have time, I don't have time for anything. We got to hurry. Our sunlight is moving fast. There we go. Don't have a hissy fit over this ink. Ugh. Gosh. I think the website said something like that, actually, about get it before it's gone, blah, 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 hissy fit. <laughs> Those exact words, everyone. So I what I'm finding is automatic pin is not besties with these wearing goal cards. That's fine. Okay, now we're going to cap this. I don't know about you, but like when I watch videos with people with open ink containers, it's like I have to stare at that ink container or it's going to fall. And so I've convinced myself like that I need to chill out and it's not going to fall over if I look away. I'm going to have to dip again, maybe. Maybe not. What are we doing? Right. Like, what's the name of this again? How many times did you write it, Maria, and you don't know the name? Yep, that's a thing. Okay. Cool. Ugh, beautiful, beautiful. Who doesn't love a bright magenta? Well, probably lots of people. But if you love them, be sad that you don't have this ink, I guess? I don't know. Okay, next up. Porth Kernel Cove. So, so far, two for <laughs> two of our three were actually earlier in the year. Which is funny because I didn't remember that I had picked this one until just now when we looked at it together. Um, this was from uh, Pure Pens. Uh, bottled in Wales. And Porth Kernel Cove is in, is it Cornwall? Well, somewhere in England. It's not in Wales. Wow. Wow. What? That's like a different color. Whoa. Whoa. Does it dry different? Ah. Fascinating. All 
I don't know what to think about this. I just really don't. I'm really confused. We're gonna watch it dry. And be very confused about it. Doing very lazy writing right now. <laughs> Do these show up as the same color? Well, first off, they obviously show up as the wrong color. I'll stress again. This camera, probably every current camera out there shows uh, aquas and, and teals as bluer than they actually are. So that card looks green. Look at how look at how fast this the sun is moving right now. Holy cow, hurry up, Maria, hurry up. Oh, hissy fit. Gosh, I love you. Okay. Okay. Let's get over it. We're gonna come back and look at that. And I kind of want to remake this swatch card for our next ink, which is Jacques Arbonne, Emerald of Chavor. So we gotta shake this. Maybe we should have done that sooner. Maybe we'll shake up like any theoretical other shimmer inks that might exist on the table. Um, we should put that Benny Hill music on, right? <laughs> Hope you liked that music on earlier. <laughs> okay. Um, we're gonna dip our pen quickly. Ink on the thing, that's fine. Get this. Go, go, go. Mm hmm. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, hello. Gosh, I love you. This is the ink, everyone. I feel like I can never leave this one out because this is the ink that's responsible for my slow descent into fountain pen madness. Um, I saw this ink online and I was like, what is that? I need it in my life. Um, and I got it and then I put it in my Pilot Metropolitan with a fine nib, which was a mistake. And so then I thought, oh, I need another pen. And here we are. Here we are. Um, Okay, I'm just gonna write the ink name. Cause that's what I feel like. These wearing gold cards are really smooth. Like that Rob Thomas and Santana song. I just read an article about because reddit love it oh i love you so much it's the old style bottle which is beautiful okay moving along come on maria come on we gotta get through this power through is troublemaker abalone which i forgot was also on the previous list i like that i'm actually pretty consistent i didn't i thought like this is gonna be a completely new list and i like Shuffled things around. I, I, oh no. Come over there. Hmm, okay. 
Oh my gosh, I just turned this upside down after having already partially unscrewed the cap. Welp. That was my luck for the day, month, some lengthy period of time probably. <laughs> so, you know what I'm going to ask? before the end of the video, probably, which is gonna be like, which of these is your favorites? Or, or would, would any of these end up on your favorites of the year? So you may wanna start thinking about that if you haven't already. Or be a quiz. Just kidding. I know that gives some people anxiety. Yesterday, my boss, sent me a message and he's like, hey, do you have a minute? And I was like, sure. So, and I got on a, and he sent me a call invite and I got on the call and his fir the first words out of his mouth were, nothing bad. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> Cause he knows. Whoop, whoop. Okay. I have to get the ink out of this cap now since I, are you done yet? That sounds really cool. Oh, oh, hello. 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 I was going to say we should do the chromatography of these, but pff, don't need to now. So, Pores Kerno absolutely changes in the drying. And it totally becomes more um, thingy. Ah, greeny. Look at this. Ugh. I gotta make this the cover of something, you know? Wouldn't that be great? Like a book? Somehow do that. Like a book where the whole cover is like chromatography paper. Hmm. Okay. Did we... Did you close it without dipping your... Yep. Where'd you put it? You just put it away? Everything's fine. Yep. So... <laughs> A baloney. Just kidding. That's not how baloney is spelled. How? How is there still ink in there? I'm trying. Okay. Next up. Boop, 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 boop. Colorverse Mystic Mountain. Shaking it, shaking it, shaking it. I love this ink. Isn't it sad that it's only in this little bottle? But you know what? That's just going to make me use other inks and explore. Holy cow. Losing our sunlight. I'm going to like find things that I wouldn't have otherwise. So I don't, I'm trying to look on it is not a bad thing if I use up an ink. Hi kitty. Okay. These two papers, these three papers are really all quite different, which I enjoy. Oh gosh, this is beautiful. Oh, Maria, I just knocked that bottle of ink. We got some major event happening outside the house. I hope you enjoy those sound effects. You know, it's like you're here with me, right? What is this called? <laughs> what are we doing? What's my name?
cool. Now, I'm to rearrange slightly. Kitty. These two are actually quite similar, but like not, not, not. They're different. They could be similar and not be the same. It's fine. I'm allowed to own all of them if I want to. So, moving stuff, moving stuff. How do you like this style? Would, it have, would you prefer if I was just like, here they are, boom, and like showed you this, these pages as a fait accompli? Or do you like that I'm like taking you on my swatching journey? Let me know. Please. Please. Okay, we're turning them sideways. That's just going to work and it's going to be fine. Next up, we have... Cat! Cat. Love this ink. I love the set because a set that's like Schrodinger and Cat is just clever and... The only thing that could have made it better is if sometimes the box like didn't have the cat ink or if sometimes like cat was a different color, but like that is a marketing nightmare. So I'm glad that they didn't do that, but it would be like a clever thing to do, you know, is, in, except for the part where it pisses off people. Clever except for the part where it wouldn't be. <laughs> like, what do you mean it got cat and it's a different color? Do you think, those of you who are super into inks like me, could you come up with an ink collection? Because the reason I ask is we all have our favorites, right? Like, if I wanted to know a purple to get, I would be like, Amanda, recommend me a purple, please. Here's what I'm thinking. If I wanted... An ink for like sketching or a moody dark ink. Although dark, maybe that's not fair. I would I would ask the countess. If I wanted, I think earthy colors is what I associate with Simone, etc. Right? Like, but could could you like come up with the colors that are not your jam? You know? I don't know. Right better sideways? Well, that says everything. Let's draw a little like. That's that's totally what a cat looks like, Maria. Yep, this is why I draw all the time. There you go, I drew a cat on my cat with the cat. Perfect. I think I could do a whole set. Because even if I don't, like, I, there are, are are greens and oranges that I can look at and say, yeah, you're pretty. You're not my favorite, but you look good. Like our partners. Okay, next up is uh, Venta. Tabuan, Purple Sea Star. This is, I, kind, I almost felt like I had to include it. It's, this is the San Francisco Pin Show 2022 ink. And this is the first year I ever went to a pin show. And so blah, 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 blah. Um, also, the ink is lovely. I like it. It's a, it's a kind of a blurple. Um... It's a purple that leans blue, but I wouldn't call it indigo. Indigo, to me, indigo is like a navy that that means purple. But you know, different colors, different strokes, different folks. Blah blah blah. The facts of life. Um. So I actually bought two bottles of this, <laughs> and because I gave, you know. Pretty generous swatches to people. Um, 
That was my plan for it. Um, reminds me, like, it's a bit like foxglove, but bluer. I love it. Beautiful. And up next. Oh, a Matisse de Lural. Apologies to French speakers. I tried. Though perhaps that's what's the most, the thing that's most deserving of the apology is me trying. Um, shaky, shaky, shaky. This ink is everything. Purple is not my favorite color. But if I have three favorites, it is in the top three. Oh. Oh my God. Yes, I love you. I also love the sun right now. Mm -hmm. Sometimes in the winter I would come up here and just lay in the sun that streams in through this winter because I need sun so that I don't feel as sad. Like it's nice and warm and toasty and it's so cold. Beautiful. Beautiful. See, these are the different bottles. This was the original style. This is the newer one. And I don't think that's because this is 1798. I think that's unrelated. That. Let's lean over here. I feel like this might be, like I wonder could I pick the inks that would be on other people's lists? That's an interesting question. I feel like this might be on Amanda's list and Pete's list. That might be on Pete's list. Nope. What? Oh, one more. Diamine Earl Grey. How can I not? I have two bottles of this. I have to like it. Also, I have to use it at every opportunity. <laughs> Dang it. This bottle is like... It's so dirty at the top. I try cleaning it. I try. I don't think this is... This is not Amanda's favorite grey. I don't know. Oh, look, there's some in there. Mm, yeah, that's a problem. It's not, you know, like, I kind of think that those of us who like gray are very particular about the gray that we like. Like, you are probably either a warm gray lover or a cool gray lover. And I tend towards the cool. Although this is a bit warm. I just, yeah. Oh, I love how it's just like one eye poking out. <gasps> Amazing. If it stayed that way, I would not be mad. It's not going to, but I'm just saying. If you, um, my understanding, as somebody who does not do much fountain pen art, this is a phenomenal ink to play with when it's wet. Because it just splits into so many colors. You get pinks, you get blues. 
just amazing. I didn't. I only grabbed ten cards, so I guess the last two they're honorable mentions. They don't get a card. I mean, eventually I'll make cards of all of these, but for now, our honorable mentions just get swatches. So. I, I bought this ink because of the name, because I drink Earl Grey every morning. I bought another bottle because I loved the ink so much and I thought it was going to be limited. It's not. Or if it is, hit me up. I can, I can hook you up. <laughs> if you can't, somehow you're watching this and you can't get it. It's probably many years in the future, so maybe don't hit me up because be out of luck okay now my two honorable mentions so these are two that I do own bottles of but they're more recent acquisitions and I feel like I'm still getting to know them but for right now whoo they are hitting good so dominant industries dusk this is a Colt pens exclusive but Oh, it's gorgeous. It's a purpley gray with a champagne shimmer. Though in this light, it almost reads as pink. It's probably just because like over the... Um, I'm going to do some more shaking of everything. Not that there's more other inks to shake. <coughs> Spoilers. This one would be on my friend Sarah's list, fairly certain. I sent her a, a good size swat sample, I think. It looks like there's still stuff at the bottom. This reminds me of nail polish. Ooh, speaking of, ooh. This is nail polish I got in the UK, which is appropriate that we're showing it off with this ink. Like you planned it, Maria. I didn't. Um. Oh, that's fine. This is fine. Oh, I just got it all over the top of the, on the ferrule. Feral should not be. That's how. That's like what animals are before you tame them. Feral. Am I saying that right? Is that even a word? Um. <laughs> I haven't had lunch. Okay, so things are funky. Up. Okay, now that is still on this. I just had this panic that I had paused uh, like two hours ago and. Forgot to unpause, but we're still going. Yay! Okay, and our final, our last of the honorable mentions. Troublemaker Polar Lights. The cool thing is, if I'm not mistaken, I think this would be by diamine terms a chameleon ink. Because, like, in this light right here, that's green. But, like, in the sunlight, it's pink. Like, what even is happening with this ink? I love you, ink. Well, I just got stuff all over the table. Things are working out. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Um... We got this in an ink flight and loved it. I have forgiven it for being a warm, sort of a charcoal color. I think of it as black, but boy, it's looking brown on that paper. We won't, we won't talk about that. We want it to be black because well, you maybe that's not fair. I do because I like black butter and brown. Oh, 
Cool. We did it. Do do do. So maybe what I'll do is like provide the timestamp for this like moment for the people who are like, stop talking and show us the eggs. If you're one of those people, I feel you, friend. I also like when people get to the point. But also, um, I, uh, I like videos where I watch people take me along for the ride. So here we are. Here is our 10 plus two honorable mentions inks. Um, on Tomoe River. Sorry about the light, but I was trying. I was hurrying. I was watching it as fast as I could. Should we try and move you over a little? Let's see if we can manage it. Now you can see this mess. And a little bit of the mattress that I leave leaned up against the wall. That's got to be good for it. Here we are. So, not in any particular order except color. So not numerical. Should I have gone across? It doesn't matter. Tsutsuji. Look at that gold sheen on there. Mm -hmm. Hissy fit. Porth Kernel Cove. Now, here's the question. Did it turn out to look like this? It did. I don't know if you saw how differently they looked. But they did. Um, Emerald of Shavor. Some, like, rust sheen and some red sheen. That's interesting. My shimmer is looking lighter and lighter, but I wonder if that's just because it's old and I've used it up a lot. Abalone by Troublemaker. Mystic Mountain by Colorverse. Cat by Colorverse. Tabuan or Purple Sea Star by Venta. Amethyst de Lural by Jacques Herban. Um, Earl Grey by Diamine. And then the two honorable mentions, Dusk by Dominant Industries, Colt Pens, and Polar Lights by Troublemaker. Here it is on that Midori paper. You do see a difference. So here's a really good example. I think Hissy Fit is looking much warmer on this paper. And that makes sense. This paper is cream colored. This is white. So this will make it look warmer. But it looks richer. This has a... And they're all watercolory. But to me this is like a glazed look a little bit more than this. The Mystic Mountain. You're seeing a little bit more of like gray, almost green in the areas where it's kind of cauliflowering, and then here you get less of that. Dusk is a lot richer, and that could be a heavier application, but I don't think so. Polar lights, gorgeous. Earl gray I, of course, like on the white paper better because it looks cooler, but this is still beautiful here. The Amethyst de Lural, I'm seeing some, mm, let's say, old gold sheen on there, which I don't typically see in the writing. Cat, I'm not getting much sheen on this. Beautiful. Are they dry enough? Let's hope so. And if we look at our... Meow. Cute cat cards. Um, I love you so much. I did think of an idea of how you could possibly make your own using the um, stamp pads they make that are resists, like uh, I think Versamark is one, and one I think is called Watermark. Anyway, I might get one of those and try it out. And this is the one that we did with that automatic pen, so I'm here to suggest don't use an automatic pen. You can, you can see the cat, but it's hiding. Um, the brush seems to work well. This cat is fully shown now. So that's my lineup of top 10 inks of, I'm going to say this is of all of 2022, but certainly the latter half of 2022. 
I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for coming along with me on this journey. I had fun. I hope you had fun. Um, sorry, Countess. I'm not trying to steal your your thing. I just was... Look, that was off the cuff. Anyway. <laughs> look. I'm having a funky day. Thank you. Whenever you're watching this, I hope you are having a wonderful day. Please take care of yourselves. Bye.